that I've finally gotten some lunch, let me actually start getting to work. Well, let me practice a little bit, but guys, it's Carrie here. I'm an animation student and this video is brought to you by BetterHelp. And I'm stressing out so much, guys. Like, ah, oh, there's so much drawing that I'm not very good at. So while I eat, I'm going to be doing some doodles in my sketchbook so I could warm up for my actual assignment, which you guys will see a little bit later that I'm doing for my character design class. And I'm also touching up on animation because I'm, I suck at using Toon Boom and timing principles and doing stuff for my storyboard. <sighs> Deep breath. In animation school, you're actually learning so many things outside of animation. Like being a storyboard artist, you need to be able to draw things at multiple different angles. And Toon Boom is the leading industry in 2D animation. And on top of that, there's character design and then there's 3D modeling and then Having to learn everything is just, oh, I feel like I'm sinking. And I wonder, does anybody else have this issue? <laughs> I do. I'm struggling so much right now in animation school. There's so many things that are outside of my element and it's taking me much longer to learn a lot of the basics in terms of character design. And I feel like my skills are not up to par and I feel like I'm always falling behind and the anxiety always is killing me which then affects my performance in class and then gets me super depressed so having access to licensed professional therapists has been a huge help better help will access your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist you can start communicating within 24 hours it's not a crisis line it's not self-help it's professional therapy done securely online there's a broad range of expertise in better helps 20,000 plus therapist network, which may or may not be locally available in many areas, such as Miami. And the service is also available for clients worldwide. So anywhere you are, you can get connected and get some help. You can log in to your account anytime and send a message to your therapist. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it easy and free to change therapists if needed. It's more affordable than traditional offline therapy and financial aid is available. Visit betterhelp.com forward slash care tube, that's better help, and join the over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. Thanks again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this segment of this video. Now let's continue. And guys, I'm done with warming up and it's time to actually get to work now and then yeah, it sucks. And the reason that I really like doing these types of vlogs because it really forces me to learn a lot of different elements of storytelling and especially learning about different camera angles and really explaining a lot of very simple mundane tasks and make them interesting. And so right now what I'm going to be working on, I'm actually going to be redoing an assignment that I turn in for my character design class. Um, I was supposed to do a caricature self-portrait and I turned it in really rough. I rushed it like during class to turn it in. So good thing I have an amazing professor that allows you to turn in work again if you have a low grade and get a better grade. So this time I'm actually trying to get better lines and clean things up a little bit more since I have more time. I'm playing music and also I'm googling certain stuff on how to do it in Photoshop since the professor really wanted us to do this in Photoshop. Photoshop, I actually went back and forth between Clip Paint Studio just because there were certain brushes I couldn't get to work in Photoshop for some reason. Uh, that's the thing with working in Windows and just Adobe in general, it can drive you insane. So if you're learning Photoshop again for the first time, well not again, but if you're learning Photoshop for the first time um, as an artist, um, trust me, I understand you. Photoshop is actually an industry drawing program for a lot of industry pipelines, which I kind of find insane because sometimes we cannot get brushes to work in Photoshop so if you're having the same issue you totally I totally understand you and the great thing about Clip Paint Studio is that you can save 
Photoshop files, meaning that you can work back and forth. And so there was some stuff that I couldn't do in Clip Paint Studio that I went and did in Photoshop as I clean up this drawing. And I actually shaded it a, li a little bit. And um, I went with a very uh, minimalistic style since this is some of the first time in my life that I'm being graded on cleanness of my line. Normally, I again, I like doing a painterly look. So having to clean up my lines is not something I normally do. So this time I really spend my time on it since this is something I would be greeted on greeted on and i hope you guys find these different angles interesting i try to have that at the beginning of each vlog and i'm sorry i didn't start off this vlog right when my day start this is the weekend i don't wake up till like 11 12 ish and that's usually when i start off my day thankfully my dad cooked today and he made haitian pasta that's what you guys saw earlier in the music sequence and this is where i'm doing a rough type of shading work i'm actually trying to shade with grid tones like you know how they do with manga artworks and i found a couple of those brushes in clip paint studio but they did not work as well but thankfully photoshop has some of them built in and they work much better i just had to adjust the skill into the brush settings so oh man it works really nice so if you're really getting frustrated it's oh man i understand you and also it's really important to learn photoshop in general not just for the industry wise photoshop is a great design tool i use it to design all my thumbnails i'm so happy that i learned it early on but sadly i didn't really use too much of the illustration aspect so that was something i had to teach myself but again i'm kind of holding your crutch by going back on clip paint studio because i love clip paint studio it works amazing but the great thing again is that you can go back and forth and now i'm going to be taking a little break and going through different assignments and doing some study sessions with animation i'm learning a lot of the animation principles um again and for my classes we don't really have textbooks so the main thing i've been studying is the animation survival kit and youtube videos and taking notes on toon boob harmony which is again a 2d animation program that is fantastic if you guys see my other vlogs i love this program but i'm also super frustrated with it everything that i do i have to google so i'm like you know what this weekend let me just get a little bit of time to just study and just take notes on the software i personally use OneNote because i could take screenshots and i can also write notes now we're on to the evening and i'm getting ready for the evening and this is like kind of boring stuff and now time to work at night and i had to like recalibrate my tablet again um because again windows is a pain sometimes but i like that it gives me the most power possible for the least amount of money i keep debating on using mac or not but for a lot of the animation software that i use which is 3d stuff and rendering i do need the power of my graphics card and right now i went through my sketchbook since this assignment i'm going to be doing is actually again for my character design class um i turned my oc into a uh, anime girl well she was already an anime girl but i'm turning her into a magical girl uh for this assignment and uh i'm actually supposed to be doing a bunch of different facial expressions but right now let me switch over to a different stand since i wanted to have a much lower angle and uh, this was so much easier a couple more troubleshooting because uh my drivers was acting up now we're finally getting to drawing the facial expressions the reason the exercise that i did earlier really helped is because i was also trying to clean up my lines for this um and oh boy it went by much faster this time because i just drew the face one time and i duplicated it and i tried to change it um in hindsight i'm not sure that was the best idea since my professor docked off points because i didn't really draw my character in different angles it was just, just the same angle i flipped some of the drawings a little bit but that didn't pass but for the purpose of just getting the assignment done this worked and now we're getting to the bulk of the work i keep saying now but i just been doing a bunch of different assignments throughout the day i work from all day pretty much just drawing and normally kid me would find this like a dream but for some reason adult me super anxious stressed out and depressed ah 
because I had all these expectations of what animation school would be and I have a lot of expectation of myself of where I should be but I'm also an adult with adult bills where I don't have enough time to invest and just improve my skills as much as I want to ah uh, well that's the reality of it but anyways the assignments gotta get done and right now i'm using my art of soul pen display i've been using that as my main display for a couple months now and i really enjoy it i made a video unboxing and review on my channel if you're interested i'll link it down below and the remote that i'm using right now is by tourbox um it's become second nature to me it really helps improve my workflow uh, but sadly I mostly have my shortcuts program to clip paint studio and not photoshop so it actually hinders me in some other programs where I gotta assign shortcuts to but I don't use that often for drawing but we'll see since ah man but school can be super complicated man like this is something I've been wanting to do since I was 14 and the animation world is so much bigger than I thought it would be but in school you need to learn a little bit of everything <laughs> and uh, the thing about learning a little bit of each process is that some parts you're not gonna like like i personally do not like 3d modeling like i much prefer doing assignments like this but i cannot be doing that all the time or my grades will suffer or i won't be able to continue on to the program and i must say that i go to a community college and i feel like i'm very fortunate to be able to get this type of level of education at the community college level this is only a two-year program and i'm halfway through oh i'm so happy but at the same time this has been the most stressful most anxious that i have been in my life that's because i was just not prepared i wish that i drew more different things like in hindsight i kept wanting to take so many breaks from school and just take a gap year and just focus on drawing and learning how to draw so many different things because it man it matters so much in the long run i have to keep asking myself that why am i doing this i want to be art director i want to be be able to lead a team of people through a bunch of creative ideas and i need to be able to understand everything and uh, right now i'm just taking shortcuts through school because i'm trying to beat the time but i definitely want to revisit a lot of these assignments when i have more time like the first assignment i did earlier so oh i'm finally done so i'll catch you guys in my next video bye